Justine Hagsman may be disabled, but she's not alone. In fact, it's estimated that one in seven British Columbians have some sort of disability. Justine's mother, Corey, says the secret is raising above the disability to live life to the fullest. In society, we, we contribute. We all want to contribute in society. So, but society values more contributions of me. doing. And so many times people, especially people with high development disabilities like Justine, for instance, can't do much, but she can be. She has this gift of, of presence, of just being the great person that she is. Corey has been her daughter's primary caregiver Almost. until recently when Justine moved into a facilitated home. A big adjustment, but one that has worked out for both. She loves to dance and motion, so we'll come and crank the music here. And this, this living room is big, and we do donuts and dance in her wheelchair. Right. And we do sensory and stuff. We like the looks of it, and how it sounds, and how it feels. <laughs> it's nice just to hang out. Uh, See, they have skylights. I kind of like that. We read together, but I don't, we don't read a big amount. For a caregiver, getting to know patients like Justine quickly is critical to both their health and well-being. But this is a, it's called a person-centered person plan, and it just helps. So anybody that works with Justine can know her more, right? Just like, to, to spend time with her, you could get to know her, but it take a long time. If they come in to work with her, they need to know about her Zoe. quickly. Her care and who she is and what she likes and how she communicates. What I've learned over the years with uh, raising Justine and, and um, because I have other kids, of course, too. And what I've learned with kids, what they want the most is to be loved and accepted. Well, I think everybody does. It's our life, and she is happy that she's had a, she's had a good life. And that's what matters most. For Shaw TV, Fort St. John, I'm Diane Townsend. Hey, look at the tree.